What's up everybody and welcome back to the Crypto Grind channel. In this video, I'm going to be talking about a project that I think has a massive amount of potential and from a narrative that has not seen its time in crypto yet. And for that reason, I think we can see some tremendous growth when people start checking this sort of project out. Now, before we get going as well, I wanted to give a shout out to SSM Crypto. He's one of the crypto gem hunters. He actually brought this project to my attention. So go check him out. I have linked him down in the description below. He has some amazing content on his channel. So go and give him a shout out from the crypto ground community and go and like some of his videos and subscribe to his channel because he is really picking out some great projects. Now, what we're going to be talking about in today's video is Lanceria. It is basically a freelancing site, similar to a project like Hive. I haven't covered it on my channel, but there are some great videos out there. If you know anything about things like Upwork, for example, or Fiverr, where people go and post work and um, you go and then say, I can do the job, you get paid for it and it's freelance. And uh, it's exactly that, except in crypto. Now, the reason why this one is actually quite important is that there are a lot of people out there who are unbanked, large populations in Africa and South America, for example, that do not have bank accounts. These sort of projects can be immensely helpful because individuals can actually still do the work and they get paid in crypto and they can obviously use their crypto to then pay for other stuff. So as this whole ecosystem grows, projects like Lancer and Hive, Lanceria, sorry, and Hive will become more and more important. So currently project um, price sitting at you know, under a penny, 0.002 cents, like I said, the market cap, $590,000. So it is dipping at the moment, but we are seeing a bit of a pullback through the whole crypto community. Um, so it's nothing too serious, nothing to be worried about. I do think that it is a pretty good project and a pretty decent time to buy. If we have a look at the tokenomics overall, we have about 75%, seven, nearly 77% of coins released in circulation, which is always very positive, and a total supply of 350 million. So it's actually a fairly low supply, which means that eventually the price will be pushed up and we could definitely see this hitting a dollar, if not more, in the future. So getting in now when this market cap is sitting as low as it is, I do think that it is a pretty, pretty safe investment. I do have one or two things that I have issues with the project, and I will touch on those a little bit as well. Moving on to the website, what you will see here, which does concern me a little bit, is the fact that it's a little bit basic. Now, I know that websites don't make the project, but a really good website is a really good way to market the project. So if people come on here and they see that the website is pretty basic, they might move on and pick something else that's not as basic and then you know, projects like this fall away, even though they do have a place and even though they are great projects. So Hive are working on this. They are going to be releasing a new portal in the future within the next few days. So that is something to watch out for. But for now, this is just a bit of a basic update and, and you know, of what the project is about, where they say that you can manage your work-life balance. Um, obviously, you can get paid in, in the Lance um, token itself. It's got teaching hubs, which is quite valuable. And obviously they verify the professionals as well, which is very cool. So instead of you being concerned that you're giving the work to somebody who claims to do it and then you don't actually get the right output at the end of the day, part of Lanceria's job is to actually verify that the individuals performing these tasks are actually up to standard. Um, and then you've got some tokenomics here. And then obviously the freelancing community and the freelancing economy itself is worth $4.2 trillion. Now, if you consider that Lancer's uh, total market cap is under a million dollars, it just shows you how far they can actually grow. And they can see themselves hitting a billion dollars in market cap in the future. And if you're getting in now, you are going to see massive, massive returns. Um, and then they basically have a few things here. They create independence, communities, growth, and so on. Uh, and what is quite nice here as well is that they have payments through escrow and the, the blockchain itself. So they actually hold on to payments until the person paying for the product actually says, yes, this is what I wanted. You can go ahead and pay the individual who has performed the task. Obviously you can securely verify your, your identity through the blockchain as well. So that's another advantage. It's secure. You can do your KYC procedures using um, blockchain V apps and centralized platform and decentralized platform and the blockchain itself, which is what we have been speaking about. 
These are some of their partners. Now they do list people like AWS. AWS is where they host their service. So it's not really a partnership. It's just part of their business plan. What is great as well is that they make use of Chainlink. So they are going to be interoperable at the end of the day. So the token itself can be used in every single um, blockchain that you can think of and people will get paid. You've got SafePal as well as a really nice sort of advantage when it comes to partnerships. Now, one thing that I will say about this project is I haven't been able to find much about find out much about the team itself. I always do like to know that there is a good team working behind these tokens. So that is something for me that is a bit of a, a red flag. I wouldn't say it would stop me from investing at the moment. Lanceria, I have invested in it. So I just want to be transparent. I have bought some. And if you were a Patreon as well, you would have also been given a buy alert and notified that I am going into the project. So if that is something that interests you, you want to see that I'm getting into these projects early, go ahead, check out my Patreon. And there is a level for everybody, whether you just want these videos out early or if you want access to my portfolio, if you want one on one consultations to help you through your crypto journey, there's some crypto education courses that I have available to you as well. Whatever interests you, go ahead, check it out. If it's something that you like, sign up. And of course, then you're going to get these notifications a lot earlier than everybody else. Um, now, if we do move on to the white paper itself, there's not much in here, so we are just going to work through it a little bit and I'll show you some of the points that I have picked out. So they just have this sort of challenge when it comes to the freelancing industry itself. And basically there's finding a challenge when it comes to finding high quality work. Obviously, the platform commissions are very high. So when it comes to actually finishing work for people, you find that often what happens is you a lot of the money that you get paid actually goes to the platform. Now, the way that Lanceria has actually changed that is they don't charge the individual being paid, who has been paid to do the work. They charge the company or individual who is paying the work to be done. So they have to pay the commission. So ultimately what the, the job pays is what you get out of it at the end of the day, which is something that I do think is pretty cool and a different business model to what other people are doing. Um, you get expertly matched because obviously they're doing the verification in the background. Unbanked freelancers is what we have spoken about as well, because you don't need a banking card or a bank account to be paid. You just get paid for the work that you've done using crypto. And I actually love that idea. So if we keep going through this white paper itself, you can see they say that decentralized app is developed using smart contracts. So that's, that's something that you do like to see. Obviously, smart contracts can help these sort of projects because at certain times a payment happens the work has been completed, yes, pay the individual who has done it. This over here is going to be their new landing page. Once everything is up and running, like I said, they have had some issues in the past, but they are fixing it. And this is what we will see and where the marketplace will be live and individuals will be able to go and post jobs and obviously take jobs up. They are la launching small in the Romanian market first, and then obviously they'll be scaling up to Europe and then the rest of the world once they actually have a working system, which is something that I do like as well, because if they start big, you might find that they have some issues long term. So if they can start in their local market and then fix those issues before going big, obviously this project has a much better chance to succeed. So these are just some of the articles that they have um, been in and been featured in. And we have some numbers here around the freelance market as well, which we're not really going to go through. It just shows that they have a big opportunity when it comes to actually having an advantage, being one of the first movers when it comes to freelancing in the crypto space. Lastly, want to just check out the, the Twitter page. You can see that they have a small following for now, only 7,800. It is growing at a pretty good rate as well, which is nice to see. And they are very active on their page as well, not only about their products, but actually retweeting a lot of crypto news in general. So they are keeping the community up to date. Now, when it does come to this, I do want to see a bit more about what their project is doing, roadmaps, where they are currently when it comes to deployments, bug fixes, the works. So that is another concern for me. They're not really keeping the community as up to date as possibly they should be. Now they do have Telegram and other things like that. So that and they are active on those, but Twitter is where they're going to reach the widest audience. So that is another area where they can improve. 
all in all, I do think this project has promise. It's probably a higher risk investment, and I did make my Patreons aware of that before going into it. But I do think that it's worthwhile getting into a project like this with a market cap that is this low. You know, you take a, a small amount of money. Now, remember, nothing I say is financial advice. It is something that you need to inv you know, research yourself and make sure you're comfortable investing that amount of money. But the returns from this can be that magic 1000x that people do look for in the crypto space. But, um, you know, that's that's something that you've got to decide for yourself. I do think that is a high risk play, but you can take a small amount of money and actually come out with a large amount of money at the end of the day. That's all I'm going to be talking about. Remember to check the links down below in the channel itself. I've got um, some hardware wallets that you can check out. I've got discounts on hardware wallets. I've got discounts when it comes to exchanges as well. MEXC, I'm an affiliate there and you can get some first time rewards when it comes to signing up to MEXC. Otherwise, that's everything that I'm going to be talking about for this project, Lanceria itself. Thank you so, so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.